In just 24 hours to the swearing-in of David Lyon, the Supreme Court sacked him. Tensions are high and protesters are on the streets, but swearing-in went on as planned. And the story of Chima, a mechanic arrested and allegedly tortured to death by police officers, is in the news again as it's revealed that an earlier autopsy which said he died of high blood pressure is fake. This is Plus Politics and I am Benny Ark. Thousands of Bielsens took to the streets of Bielsa to protest the Supreme Court's judgment that stopped David Lyon's inauguration as the next governor of Bielsa State. The protesters are insisting that without Lyon, no handover of power will be conducted in the state. Well, the swearing-in went on as planned, and joining me to discuss this on Plus Politics this evening is legal practitioner Chima Naji. Thank you, Chima, for joining us, Stacey. Thank you very much. Uh, good evening, viewers. Now, interestingly, just yesterday, the Supreme Court sacked David Lyon of the All Progressive Congress APC as government elect by a state barely 24 hours to his inauguration. How legally correct was this? Well, from the facts of uh, the case, as we could glean word from the media, I haven't read the judgment, but um, the principle that has been espoused is uh, legally correct because um, it's a joint ticket. What happens to A happens to B. The governorship candidate and his deputy, yes. they are together. They are inseparable. They swim or drown together. So when the, uh, at the Federal High Court, the, you know, it's a pre-election matter. There was um, the argument that uh, he had fixed certificate and that what he submitted in, uh, from 00, is it CG 001 or whatever, uh, was false. Uh, I think the, some of the APC chieftains perhaps thought that they could use their leverage, you know, political leverage to paper things over. The High Court, the Federal High Court ruled that this man is not good for the candidacy of uh, a, a political party yes. as deputy governor. They insisted. And uh, perhaps the governorship candidate did not have the muscle to insist that there should be a change. You know, given the, 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 our political experience yes. where godfathers and uh, things are put together, then you simply uh, sit on top. Uh, so by, by the Court of Appeal decision affirming after somebody had bragged that he must be on the ticket and there was uh, a decision that uh, he should be a candidate. The correct thing is that if there is any violation yes. of the electoral rule by any of the uh, uh, party to the ticket, it affects the other. So I think that uh, if it is true indeed that uh, he had that fake uh, certificate and what has been canvassed appears to me because I, I have to be very careful because I have not read the judgment to see the exhibits myself. Yes. But uh, such decisions are correct if the facts all right. All right. Many people have argued the fact that the deputy was at fault with his uh, falsified documents. Mm -hmm. That why was the deputy not prosecuted? Given that um, the governor himself, the, the governor elect, I mean, was cleared and he was he was certified um, by 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 INEC. Why was the prosecution not on the deputy? Well, um, you have to do elementary one, perhaps. Before you go to do elementary two, <laughs> uh, they have just disqualified him. Yes. Uh, under normal circumstance, when a court pronounces a document forged, yes. there's an imputation of crime. And uh, that means that somebody who has... Against uh, the offender. Uh, yes, against yes. the offender. Somebody who has the responsibility to pick it up can do so. But the court, what was before the court was an electoral matter, even though it was subjoined by a criminal uh, something that somebody committed fraud or falsification of a document and all that. It is an offense on its own that can be picked up by prosecution to say, okay, let's go the whole hog to perhaps send a signal to, because there are so many of people, so many politicians 
and ordinary people parading fake documents in this country. And uh, they are, some of them get away with it. But this one is a monumental failure and embarrassment that is probably going to get interned with uh, the, 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 the individual. All right, I'm going to come back to you. We have a track to play. Just take a look. Orders of the Supreme Court. The commission met this morning and reviewed the result of the election in which 45 political parties contested. Without the votes scored by the All Progressive Congress, APC, whose candidates were deemed not to have participated in the election, the total number of lawful and valid votes cast in the election now stands at 146,999. Out of this figure, the candidate of the People's Democratic Party scored the highest number of lawful votes with 143,172. The candidate of the Accord Party has the next highest, highest score with 1,339 votes. The margin of lead between the candidates of the PDP and the Accord Party is 141,833 votes. With this outcome, the election is conclusive at first ballot. Consequently, Senator Duoi Diri and Senator Lawrence Erujako of the PDP are hereby declared winners and return elected as governor and deputy governor of Bielsa State, respectively. I will not forget those who God have used for us to be here today. The judiciary, which is the last hope of the common man. We pray and hope that God will heal our land by us as states. God will heal Nigeria. For us, God has taken us through a winding road and it has taught us lessons of reconciliation, lessons of love. In that clip we saw INEC Chairman Professor Mahmoudi Yakubu. Is, is INEC, INEC is culpable in this. Isn't this an indictment on INEC as it stands? Um, to certain limited extent. Okay. To the extent that INEC does not have the powers to disqualify a candidate. That is why it has the responsibility of publishing whatever it receives from candidates. To say to the whole world, any of you who knows anything about this candidate that could constitute an impediment to his candidacy, please, this is the opportunity to do so. It is not within the purview of INEC under the Electoral Act to disqualify a candidate. I like, I like in that respect is like a, a carton. When you dump something in it, you open, it will open itself for people to see. So the, the, the issue here is to the extent that uh, perhaps somebody working in the INEC would have said, ah, this is what I observed though, and, but that wouldn't even uh, amount to anything because the person, except the person is acting on his own, but not on, on behalf of INEC as a, a yeah, corporate Yeah, but public entity. opinion is an, this an, this an indictment on our entire electoral pro process. Like, well, this that, is not the first if, time we've seen such, such a case. about the electoral act, act yes. that requires to be amended Indeed. to give INEC the powers to check, then verify, yes. and take decision, then that'd be it. But outside that one, I don't think I, I, INEC is blemish on this particular instance. Okay. Now, it's, it's amazing that the court has given its ruling, but this definitely didn't represent probably the goodwill of the people of Bielsa. Like there were protests across. Um, there's, there's a video that will be playing uh, while we're talking. Um, they took to the street to protest and saying, if it's not David Lyon, nobody else is going to be governor. But fortunately, as we speak now, the swearing ceremony should almost be over. What, what do you think might be my pan out as a result of this decision and the swearing in and the protests taking place in Bielsa right now? First and foremost, uh Every citizen has the right to protest. protest. 
But the issue is, uh, the protest, is it uh, grounded in law or in sentiment? I would rather that uh, this one is uh, being emotional because our politics is uh, come and chop. <laughs> so if they remove uh, your hand from the, uh, from the pot, you protest. So you see all that, the other people also now jubilating. It means that they, they will soon be at the table, at the dining table, uh, perhaps at the discomfiture of the other ones. So the issue here is not uh, about legalism. It is about uh, emotionalism. Okay. That uh, people feel that they have been, uh, you know, they have removed their mouth from the breast, so to speak. So they have a right to that. And um, in the course of time, they get used to it. But quite frankly, the reason why we are here at the level we are today, yes. that when there is a judicial pronouncement, the ordinary people in the street that do not even understand the nuances of law will begin to challenge the court is because the courts have been compromised. Some judges have been I was just going to come to that, compromised, yes. intimidated, and derided by these same politicians that have always been used to gaming the system. So we are now, we are getting full circle, whereby uh, the chicken will get home to roost. Everybody will begin to pay gradually until the system gets it somehow sanitized. Yeah, I mean, we, the, the, pro, the protests, the protests and burning of tires, I mean, it's the vehicles, vehicles it's were destroyed. It won't change anything. Yeah. It won't change anything. In any case, uh, the, I can understand because uh, I believe this is a very, this is a very, very, um, queer experience. We've not had this experience in this country. Okay. Now, let me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me express a few thoughts on people, what people were saying yesterday when all of this was going on, mm -hmm. um, that the, the, the way it all happened, it was too systematic and too sudden, and they said that the hand, probably the hand that pulls the string was involved in this, and they were making reference to Wiki. Um, do, 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 you, do you think this was in any way also um, politicized? The, the issue of Godfatherism came to play in any way in what happened? I don't even know whether Wike is godfather to the senators. If anything, it should be Syriac Dixon, uh, who they touted were that uh, one, the governorship candidate was his cousin or relation or whatever, yes. and that he wanted to use him to replace himself. So I don't think this is a Wike matter. But being that Wike himself is a PDP, I believe that uh, anybody say, uh, I mean, uh, making some sentiment supporting the Supreme Court decision from the PDP side, yes. is that uh, it is uh, our, one of our own, so to speak, and uh, the other people have lost. So this is the, the political uh, um, angle to it. But I am not here to look at uh, anybody's interest there. I'm yes. here purely to look at the issues objectively from yes. the point of law. Yes. The facts that have been presented Give the rise, gave rise jurisprudentially to the decision of the court, unless the court, I mean, the Electoral Act is uh, uh, amended to accommodate anybody who commits fraud. That maybe when you finish. Uh, you know. Now, the, the chairman of the APC, um, Comrade Adams Oshomala, yesterday was seen to have made some comments and saying mm -hmm. there will be no swearing in today in Bielsa if it was not going to be David Lyon. What did you make of the comments of the chairman of the, uh, the, 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 the ruling APC party? Well, first and foremost, there has been um, um, swearing in, I believe. Yes. So that one has put paid to whether it was a threat or a wishful thinking. I don't think he was uh, on duty when he was making that statement. He probably was uh, allowing his emotions to run uh, his uh, cerebral you know, processes. Because first and foremost, the law is that even if you are grieved with decisions of court, shouting in the street does not change anything. You know, you, are, you approach a lawyer, you don't, you don't get particular ailment and you go to a carpenter. You go to hospital and meet a doctor. The doctor in this case is the, 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 the lawyer. The lawyer will know the processes to take. If it is uh, what can be reversed, uh, if it's uh, like Supreme Court on review, uh, then uh, they will do the needful. If it is uh, something that will go on appeal, if it is a lower court, 
they will take the steps. It's not by running the mouth or making noise or hitting the polity. I don't think that uh, Adam Zoshomole was acting as the chairman of a political party when he made that statement. Mm. He was probably uh, still thinking that he was a labor union leader. We have a video clip of that a statement from Adam Zoshomole. Let's take a look. As a political party, we respect the rule of law and we respect and we have confidence in the judiciary. However, this judgment obviously lies the fruits of justice. For me and for our party, at the heart of election is the issue of who did the people actually vote for? Is there a case of impersonation on the part of the deputy governor elect? Is there any other person who has turned up to claim that name as to raise doubt as to whether or not this was the deputy governor elect, duly elected along with the governor during the Bayesa governorship election? Now, where justice and democracy is sacrificed on the altar of technicalities, this for me constitutes a grave danger to our democracy. If as the Supreme Court has ruled, the Bileon cannot now be sworn in as governor, and that the person who has the highest number of votes and is spread the sworn in, it simply means that from tomorrow there will be no government in Bayesa State. It simply means from tomorrow, which is today, there will be no government. That's not true. That's in Bayelsa State. In fact, I expected that uh, as the chairman of a uh, a ruling party with all the legal arsenals at his disposal, he ought to have consulted the lawyers. Which is what the PDP did in the statement. case of um, Hope. He's in the public domain and, and making this court. kind of statement yeah. is very reckless. Because even as a labor leader, he was even more measured, even though he would theaterize the thing and dramatize it. But this is too pedestrian for the chairman of a political party, not in the least a yes. ruling party. He has a, a, a resources like that. He should have consulted the team of uh, lawyers, who, many of whom are uh, uh, senior advocates and so on, are available to him. What is the implication of this? Even if he didn't make any statement yesterday, uh, he could have made the statement very late, but he'll be on point, okay? He'll be on point. So I don't think this, in, in, and uh, I don't know how he will feel now that uh, it's like the prophet saying there will be rain tomorrow, and in the evening, uh, the sun is still hitting everybody. Now, this is a Supreme <laughs> Court ruling. This is, it, what can be done in this situation? The Supreme Court, Supreme Court realizes that it is the final court, but it also knows that it is not infallible. So there are instances. Is it reversible? No, no, no. If the, if the judgment is sound, yes. There's nothing to reverse. I mean, if you are right, why would you do an And if it's apology? not a sound judgment? If it is a sound judgment, as in this particular instance, there's nothing yes. technical about it. Okay. The Constitution and the Electoral Act are very, very clear on this issue. That when something affects one member of the ticket, it affects the other. It's, a, it's like a Siamese twin. If you put uh, uh, your scissors, the other one will bleed. Exactly. So the, the truth of the matter is that there's nothing technical about it. It's not very, it's not rocket science. It's too, it's too elementary because it's not written in French. The constitution is written in English language, not even in bombastic language. The Electoral Act itself is also written in ordinary, simple, common English. And it was made since 2006 and amended 2010. So we cannot be making this type of statement where we choose and pick. When he favor, I believe that Adams was just trying to also uh, save himself because under his watch, ABC has become uh, highly embarrassed. You know, it's monumental to lose candidacy completely because this ruling is that the ABC didn't have a candidate, so even not he shouldn't even make any statement about the election. The manner it happened in River State, the manner it happens in uh, it happened in uh, Zamfara. I believe that uh, this particular circumstance should worry him and he should be a little bit more sober and introspective. 
legal practitioner Chiman Naji. Thank you very much for your contribution in this segment. And thank you for staying with us. We'll take a short break now. And when we return, police brutality is once again in the news. Do stay with us.